You guys want to go out? All right, come on. All right, so, um, oh, well, actually, before we go that way, so what I wanted to show you, right, was I wanted to show you what we got for tomatoes. So these are those beefsteak tomatoes. So my wife did, oh, look at the size of that thing. I cannot wait to make a sandwich with that thing. So we have a, um, a few tomatoes that we have sitting on our kind of, uh, what do you call that? The ripening, the ripening rack. We've got uh, these tomatoes, which are all ready to go. And then we've got this bucket. Like, I mean, look at the size. Look at the size of this bucket, man. Here's my hand, and here's all the tomatoes. Oh, look at that one. Whoa. Holy. Now that's a tomato. This needs to be on the uh, ripening rack. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my stupid knee pad. Check that out. So I'm gonna take my stupid knee pad out with me so that I can kneel on the ground. Aggravating, man. All right, come on, you guys, we'll come out. Come on, go. Go on, go on, Daisy. All right, so it is supposed to rain today and my wife was like, hey, um, you know, you should probably go into the garden and at least, you know, grab some stuff. So what I did want to do is I wanted to go ahead, I wanted to go ahead and grab the uh, potatoes. I wanted to show you also, like I had said yesterday, I had said yesterday that I was gonna give you like an overview of the garden, show you what's going on here. Uh, I gotta check that one out. I think I think something got to it. That tomato's gonna be pulled in. That actually might be expired. But you can see what happens with the weather is obviously once the weather changes, so do the plants. The plants just start getting kind of, I guess, too old and whatever. So, but, yeah, so what I did want to show you though, is I wanted to show you the pepper plants and I wanted to show you the eggplant. So the deer, the deer have kind of taught me something this year, which I never even thought, I never for the life of me ever thought that pruning, pruning uh, eggplants and pepper plants were a thing, but apparently they are. <laughs> So this is actually a new stock that's growing, but check out this pepper plant. Look at the size of that pepper. Look at that. That's a perfect size pepper. And there are more blossoms coming. The problem is, the problem is, is that the change in weather for where I live in my location basically kills it. It, it literally kills it. Look at the, this is the sweet potato, dude. The sweet potato is creeping that way. Look at this thing. That's not sweet potato, but look at this thing. This is the sweet potato. This is a potato plant. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and dig this one up. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of expired. I don't think it's gonna do anything more. And then, but look at this. It looks like it's some kind of like poison ivy vine, but it's not. This is also a potato, so I gotta, che uh, I gotta check that out. What is that? The heck is that? That ain't nothing. But look at how this sweet potato is growing. Now I'm not necessarily a sweet potato kind of person, but whatever, I actually could feel spits. So here's the other pepper plant. So this is what the deer had done. The deer had basically mowed this off. This grew and look at the blossoms and peppers that are coming. Same thing with this one. The deer had mowed it down and look it. Look what's going on here. See what I'm saying? This one didn't do that great. It's still there. That one, look at that, regrowing. I almost feel like for the first time, I feel I've really got to pay attention to frost and maybe dig these things up and bring them inside. Like I've never done that before. I've never actually felt motivated. I never felt motivated enough to go ahead and want to, you know, dig up my plants and bring them inside, but uh, I just don't know, man. See that? There's nothing that's going to happen with this. This has got to literally come in. This one right here. What's going on with that? Did something get to it? Something started to eat it. So I'm just going to let it marinate. <laughs> let it marinate. <laughs> let whatever was eating it eat it. But you can see, look at that. See the tomatoes fell? Like that was a big beef steak. Look at that. That was a big one. Yeah. 
Look at the look at the tomatoes coming on there. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Yeah. That one's got some good ones on it. I don't really like those Roma. My wife apparently she does like the Romas, but I don't really care for them. But you can see how the garden's basically expiring. You know what I'm saying? So this is my clementine tree. Holy crap! I am gonna go ahead. I'm gonna grab a. Uh, I'm gonna grab that digger thing that I got over in that thing. But here, check this out. Check, you can see all these plants are basically they they they're dead. I mean, they're still alive. They still have blossoms, but they're dead. The stalk, the main stalk, is just done. The plants literally just kind of like hang on. There's there's still a butternut here. Look at that. Right there. I think I gotta bring it in because it's not attached to anything anymore. Marigolds are still growing. Look at they're still getting flowers. So it's like, should I? What should I do, man? It's why I don't want to live in Massachusetts anymore, man. I want a longer, warmer growing season. So now I know, well at least if you've paid attention to like this channel and some of the, you know, gardening with Guy. You know that the deer came in and totally annihilated my, uh, or my wife's. Uh, these are those Japanese or something eggplants, right? Now the problem that I'm going to come across is that because the weather is changing, I've got to really pay attention. And if I have to throw plastic on these plants, that's what I might have to do. Might have to almost like create a mini greenhouse just to hopefully stop the frost from killing these things because look at this this is number one okay look at all the blossoms look at the growth look at how crazy this thing went you know what i'm saying like look at that would you just look at it <laughs> would you just look at it look at how healthy it is here's number two look at this one are you kidding me look at it Blossoms, look at all the growth. The deer annihilated this thing. And then look at this one. Same thing, it actually dropped a blossom, but I think my wife had picked off one of these. And that's that's part of the negative is that, I can feel the spits. It's that negative, man. It's like the bees are like going away. So there's nothing that's gonna be pollinating. Now I'm saving the best for last. Cause this one's an animal. Look at this thing. Dude, this thing's a tree. This one got mangled by the deer. Look at that. These things are so weird. This thing got mangled by the deer and look how good it's doing. It's insane. Another one there? What do I do, man? Do I kind of like build a... Do I build like a... Do I build like a junk greenhouse just to kind of like get by? I could kind of do it. I've got the plastic. All right, I've got to go get a, um, I got to go get a bowl and I'm going to get my digger thing and we're going to go ahead and dig up. We're going to dig up that, which I don't know if that's going to have anything because my wife mistakenly ripped uh, one of the main stalks out. Dig that up. We're going to dig. Uh, that one up and also this one right here because you can see there's a potato right there. So I'll be back. Man, it's like the, the weather is changing fast. So you guys want to come in? Good. Come on, let's go. Come on, Colby. He'll come. He'll probably be at the door by the time I get there. Uh, you ain't coming this way within 30 feet. I think she's coming in with her grungy feet. All right, so I don't know what I'm gonna need, but let's see, you guys wanna go back out? Let's go, come on. Come on, Haley, come on. Yeah, psycho, come on. Can you hear the raindrops? Where did Colby go? Colby. He was out here some. Oh, there he is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab that uh, 
thing, my little digger thing. Let's see what we got here. A little digger. Let's see what we got in the garden. Alright, get that little knee pad thing. So I'll go after this one first. So this plant is big. Oh, look at that. Okay. Nothing might have happened here. So let's see what we got. Ah, oh, this shovel's junk. Oh, there is a potato right there. It was right at the surface. Right here. Look at that. Oh, there's a couple. I think I definitely needed to fluff the soil a little bit better than I did. And it's, it is fluffy enough. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we did get a couple of, we got a cluster. We got a cluster of potatoes right there. So it was kind of like a little odd cluster. Kind of, yeah, I don't know. And I think that's it for that. So that kind of one, that one kind of didn't work. Yeah, that one didn't work. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is right here, and that's where that is, right there. So, let's see what we got here. All right, so that's that plant. All right, so not very good little tiny nothing let's see what we got going here anything oh, oh wait a minute spoke too soon and looks like that's potentially it all right yeah looks like that is it I'll get in deep just to see. Yeah, nothing. All right. So really nothing. I mean, bad growing season, I guess. What the heck is that? I hear that noise all the time. Is that like a raccoon or something I think Daisy's interested in whatever it is might as well take this in it ain't gonna it ain't gonna do anything past what it's already done is there a raccoon up there or something I've been waiting for something to live in there. Some kind of bird or I don't know. I, I hear that noise all the time. I have no idea what the heck it is. It like, makes me think it's like a raccoon or something. So, i got to put that in there. The uh, sweet potato I can leave because those are doing mint. So let's see what we ended up over here kind of suspecting kind of don't have high hopes here let's see what we got oh wait a minute look at that wow that's surprising I didn't expect oh wait a minute so this actually did better look at that another one 
Look at that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Just trying to keep all the crap off my knees here. So, it's a little tiny one. Nothing on that plant. A little tiny one. A little tiny one. <laughs> Almost seems like rocks. Look at that. Little tiny, tiny ones. Another one. Another one. Real tiny. Oh, look at that. Oops. Here we go. Another one. Another little tiny one. Oh, isn't that funny? The plant that I... The plant that I thought was doing worse actually did the best. Yeah, another tiny one. Grew like a whole bunch of these little tiny ones. That's a rock. Alright. That's pretty much it. Oh, look at that. Look at how many of these little tiny ones it grew. What is up with that? Maybe those should be left in the ground. I wonder. I wonder what would happen if I leave those in the ground. Look at that. Do I leave those little tiny ones in the ground or what? Look at this. Why are there so many little tiny ones? I'm starting to think I should leave those in the ground. You know that? Look at That's another one. Alright, this is weird. What should I do? Should I leave these little tiny specks in the ground? So that is it. I think that's it. If I leave it in the ground, it's probably just gonna rot. Look at that, another one. Because if I, if I leave it in the ground, I feel like it's just going to rot. Crap. I don't know what to do. So that's pretty much it. Uh, look at my clementine tree. Holy smokes, man. That thing is happy. I can't leave that out either. That's going to have to be brought in. So, And I might have to transplant that. But you can see basically the garden is expiring. It's what happens, man. It's part of that... Um, it's part of the crappy growing season that you get over here in Massachusetts I want to say and this garden ain't perfect this isn't like a professional garden in here this is literally just growing stuff like you know what I mean like just putting things in the ground and just letting letting it just grow so yeah pruning is definitely a thing for peppers and eggplants it's just Maybe starting the peppers and starting the eggplants sooner, protecting them, then going in and selectively pruning them. I just don't know how to selectively prune. What do you just lop it right off? Once it gets kind of like established or something? I don't know, it's just a learning experience. I've do it, I've been doing gardens for years, so. Anyways. This is RC Guy Garage. I'm out here with the pups. We're out here, uh, we got a couple of things. We got a bunch of more potatoes than I thought we were gonna get, but they're pretty anemic. They're pretty small. I'm not sure if that has to do with the. Uh, I'm not sure if that has to do with what we had for a growing season. I kind of suspect it does, but it's also the soil conditions here. They're not ideal, you know. But at least the garden is giving back, and that's the whole point of doing the garden is to give back. Now those potatoes that I had planted. I mean, think about it. I actually got potatoes I can eat now. But those potatoes that I planted, like, I mean, they were junk. They were, like, rotten. Well, not completely rotten. Planted ten and only got five. So that means half of them died. Yeah, I don't know. Is that worth it? 
Yeah, kind of, because it's still an experiment. It's still kind of showing that, you know, if you've got something that, you know, potentially you're going to toss, I don't know, man. Give it a shot. Take a potato and just jam it in the ground and see what happens. So anyway, this is Arsa Guy Garage. I'm out, like I said, just doing some garden stuff. This might be the final update for the year. I don't know. We'll see. We got rain coming. I can feel it spitting on my face. So, I'm out gardening. What are you doing? I don't know what I was thinking. Of course there's going to be another gardening thing. Because, still got the sweet potato. I'm not going to leave those. I mean, going to pull those up. I'm just not sure exactly when. We've only grown sweet potato one other time. There'll be, there'll be more updates. They will. Yeah. What are you doing? Always have to have a very sharp knife. I keep these knives nice and sharpened for my wife to the point of where sometimes after I sharpen them, I warn her. I say, honey, I just sharpen the knives because then she realizes that, man, this thing is just gonna slice right through.